Hi Taurus, this is your tarot reading for the month of February. We'll have three separate spreads in this monthly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at love. Uh, it could be new love, love from the past, existing love, whatever comes up. Then uh, the second spread will be some good news coming your way in February. And the third spread will be an advice for you for this month. Alright, please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on love. We have uh, the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Five of Pentacles. Uh, we have uh, the Fool, clarified by the King of Cups. Then we have the Three of Cups, clarified by the Two of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Lovers, with the Four of Ones and the Ten of Cups. And we have the World, on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have Aries and uh, Gemini on the table. So here's the deal tours. This could be interpreted as a new <laughs> new person coming into your life and this spread could also be interpreted as a reconciliation. Okay? You're dealing with this King of Cups, the third, uh, the fourth card from the left, so that's the person. So it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. Uh, if they're not a water sign, it could be somebody who is mature, you know, somebody who is um, in control of their emotions, unless it's about you. <laughs> when it comes to you, they're all about love, lovey-dovey type of deal, right? And uh, again, for some of you, it could be a reconciliation with this person. For others of you, it's a new person coming into your life. I will focus on new, on new love, because uh, we'll, it'll be just too many things to say. It'll be too complicated. So let's assume this King of Cups is a new person coming into your life. All right. Um, we start with the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Five of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords is a card of an abrupt ending. Something is going to come to an abrupt ending, and most likely what's coming to an abrupt ending is the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is a card of feeling lonely, feeling uh, left out in the cold. Perhaps that's the way you're feeling right now. You've gone on so many dates. Well, not, not that many, but no, nobody fits your description, uh, or people are wishy-washy, people don't know what they want, you know, whatever the case. You're feeling left out in the cold because uh, your love life has been not, a, not up to what you want it to be. So, with this new person, with this King of Cups, that loneliness, that feeling left out in the cold is going to come to an abrupt ending. So, it will happen real, real quick you will most likely meet this person at some kind of a party or an event or a reunion, right? The Three of Cups, clarified by the Two of Cups right there in the middle. I, I think that's where you're going to be meeting this person uh, at some point in February, right? The Three of Cups is a card of a reunion or it's a card of a celebration. It could be someone else, someone's birthday. If you have an Aquarius friend or <laughs> relative, perhaps you're going to be going to an Aquarius birthday party. It could be absolutely anything, right? Any type of an event, game, show, gathering of some sort, concert, what have you, right? Then the Two of Cups clarifying that is a soulmate card, right? Uh, this is uh, you and this King of Cups and the Two of Cups. It's a card of unconditional love. So I think the two of you will click right away. But a little prior to that, we have the Fool clarified by the King of Cups, right? The Fool is a card of taking the leap of faith. It could be an Aries you're dealing with. I think um, for some of you, this King of Cups may invite you to that event. For others of you, it could be you just, you know what, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go have a good time, and the King of Cups will also be uh, going to that same event. All right, uh, the Fool is a really good card in this case, right? It's a card of just jumping in, or perhaps uh, you've been in a hermit mode up until this point because you think that every single person you meet uh, it's not going to work out but with this event you will give it a shot and you're not going to regret it all right i hope you i hope all of this still makes sense all right we have the world on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right the world could be someplace remote so you could be going to this event someplace remote from where you live doesn't have to be a thousand miles away <laughs> for some of you it could be for others of you it doesn't and the world is also a happy end card this is when one chapter of your life comes to an end the five of pentacles type of a chapter and the new chapter much better much happier chapter of your life is about to begin in the potential outcome we have the lovers with the four of ones and the ten of cups well with cards like that i don't think it's really a potential Right? The lover sees a card of a choice. It could be a Gemini you're dealing with. 
But uh, the lovers, in my opinion, is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's also a soulmate card, just like the, just like the Two of Cups. It's a, a twin flame a connection card, if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers could be the lover of your life, right? And the remaining two cards in the potential outcome, the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups, are both uh, commitment and marriage cards. Both of them. Okay, the four of wands is often referred to as the 11. 11 card, to me, that card always reminds me of an actual wedding. And the ten of cups is the uh, happily ever after card. It's a family card. So, you know, we start with that, you see, even the colors of these cards, right? The ten of swords, glorified by the five of pentacles all the way to the left. They're kind of on the darker side, gloomy cards. And then the rest of the spread is very bright, very lovey-dovey. <laughs> We start with a 10, the 10 of swords, and we end with another 10, the 10 of cups. So it is a journey, right? But uh, it's all about taking that leap of faith, I guess, going to some kind of an event. All right? So if you are invited to an event, don't hesitate. Don't go anywhere with strangers, <laughs> right? But I think everything revolves around that, uh, that three of cups um, event for you. All right? Really happy for you, Taurus. Congratulations. Here's some good news for you, Taurus, for the month of February. We have uh, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the uh, Ten of Pentacles, and we have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign, uh, not a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we also have Libra on the table. I think this spread has something to do with finances or real estate, or both. <laughs> there could be like a legal matter also involved, right? We, we have justice on the bottom of the deck. Justice could be uh, the legal system or some government agency, all right? Or it could be a financial institution, right? And uh, if you're in the middle of a lawsuit, I think you're winning, okay? I think you're going to have money coming your way as a result of that. Um, if you, say, want to remodel your home, right, and uh, your local government requires for you to submit the blueprints first before you remodel and perhaps you already submitted the blueprints or you will submit the blueprints and they're gonna green light it they will get back to you and tell you sure go ahead with the, with the remodel right for others of you you could be purchasing a new home right I'm talking about the ten of pentacles right next to the deck the ten of pentacles could be a card of a family it could be a card of financial abundance and it could be a card of real estate right for some of you all of the above <laughs> But, uh, yeah, together with the Justice card and the Ace of Swords, yeah, it's a decision that goes in your favor, right? It is a decision. You see how in the Justice card, the person in the Justice card is holding up scales in one hand and uh, a sword in another? That's exactly the sword we see in the Ace of Swords, right? The Ace of Swords, in this case, is the word yes. It's a card of a green light. It's a card of a verdict, decision that most likely goes in your favor. It has something to do with the Ten of Pentacles, right? Family... Uh, money or real estate and prior to that we have the page of Pentacles and the knight of Pentacles it's the same thing same thing if you're gonna be awarded money or it's gonna be some sort of a settlement for some of you it could be like a structured payment plan where they'll be paying you monthly or what have you that could be the page and the knight of Pentacles for others of you if it's just one lump sum payment right then the page of Pentacles is paperwork you may have to sign a few things, all right? And uh, then that Knight of Pentacles will play out. So that's the good news, all right? Cool. Here's an advice for you, Taurus, uh, for the month of February. We have uh, the Six of Swords, clarified by the Chariot. We have the Three of Cups, the Star, and the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Well, uh, here's the deal. If you are invited to go to an Aquarius's birthday, party, I suggest you go. It will turn out to be a golden opportunity for you. In some shape or form, somehow it will turn out a golden opportunity. It could be love related or anything other <laughs> related. Work, business and finances. Alright, because the, the, we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. It's a golden opportunity. Alright, then the star right next to the deck is the Aquarius, a major arcana card. And uh, we're celebrating Aquarius birthdays right now, right? At the end of January and for the most of uh, month of February, these are all Aquarius birthday parties. Okay, and the Three of Cups to the left from, from the star is a card of a party like events of some sort, so it's a card of a celebration. And we start with the Six of Swords, clarified by the Chariot. I clarified the Six of Swords, making, wanting, to, wanting to make sure that this card in this case is literally going. And yes, it is literally going, because the Chariot is a card of literally going. 
right? It's one of the fastest cards in the deck, and uh, in this case, the Six of Swords is also a card of going to that Aquarius birthday party. You know, I think I briefly mentioned during the first spread, right, that uh, you could be meeting this the new person, that King of Cups, at, at an Aquarius birthday party. Perhaps that's what this is all about. This is this advice could be associated with the. With the first spread, and the new, uh, the love spread. But for others of you, if you don't meet that uh, King of Cups and the Aquarius Party Party, I suggest you still go. It will still turn out to be a golden opportunity for you without Ace of Pentacles. All right. So um, yes, Doris, that's uh, what I have for you for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Taurus, uh, <laughs> have an amazing February.